Hello guys, uh, we're going to be doing a video on uh, dealing with data trees. Now we learned in the first part uh, some of the typical standards of dealing with data trees such as grafting, simplifying, flattening, uh, and understanding the structure. Now we're going to go into uh, one particular code uh, script which is the entwine command and how we can use that. So, uh, and we're gonna use the entwine command and ultimately integrate the weave command into this component and show how this can help. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay, so let's start with a new file. Uh, I usually like to work in millimeters. Let me make two circles and you will see what strategy I will use to make these two circles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the entwine command and what this does is it creates two trees and each of these trees are gonna have their own data because I'm gonna divide those, those uh, circles and distinguish these two trees to run my weave command. So I'm going to put this in, in my radius. Uh, as you see, I had this uh, branch. I'm going to just remove it because I want to have uh, two trees. So I'm going to get my number slider. Uh, I'm going to put my maximum 1500 millimeters, which is around five feet. Uh, so I have one circle here and one circle there. Now, okay, so you can see I have two circles. So instead of making two circle components, I'm using the entwine command and you'll see what I want to do. So what I want to do is I want to create a weave condition. So I'm going to have to create a condition where the points interpolate into this sort of uh, this sort of pattern here and you'll see the strategy that what I'll use so I'm going to go to the divide curve command uh, I'm going to get my number slider and I'm going to make my maximum 36 and I'm going to click on the even number because I want, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I put the even number. So I put my count. And as you've seen in my other lectures, uh, let me also put in the uh, bifocal tools. This always helps. So I'm going to drop my uh, param viewer and we'll see what is happening. So what you see is we have two branches and each of those branches has 24 items. Now, I want to create a weave condition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cull pattern. Now the cull pattern is based on a Boolean condition. So the default is false, false, true, true. I wanna make a true, false uh, condition. So I'm gonna bring my paneling tool. I'm gonna write true, false. I'm gonna click on this and right click on multi -data, data item. I'm going to take, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to go to my tree. Let's go to the, okay, so I want to use the explode tree command because I want to, I want to take each of those tree items and you'll see what I'm going to do. So you see it has uh, two trees. So I'm going to take the first tree and you can see it's selecting all of these items. And then I want to take the next one. It's also selecting the same sort of items, but in this case, I'm gonna reverse the list. I'm gonna reverse this list. So I'm gonna go, or maybe I can just plug it in right here. I'll create the reverse list. Now I'm gonna put in the weave component. So we have, two streams, the pattern that it's saying is zero, one. So basically what you're gonna have is uh, basically this stream 
and this stream. And after I do this command, I'm going to put interpolate And you can see, voila, we created this weave condition because basically we're having this point connect to this point and this point to that point. So in order for me to close this uh, weave condition, I need to click on the invert command. So now I created this, uh, this weave condition. I can edit it here. Now the next thing is I want to run a tween condition. So let me first get a polygon. I will copy one of these sliders. Let me, let me increase the number to, let's say, 3600 millimeters. And let me copy a slider. I want to update the fillet radius. We put the maximum is 100. Okay, we got a little bit of a fillet. Let's put the segments. I want to make the maximum maybe 12 segments. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so then now I want to tween this thing to that thing. So I'm going to put in my tween component. I'm going to put the range because the range is going to determine the steps. So how many steps do I, I want to use? So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to click on the factor. I'm going to click on this. And you can see that I've been able to create a little bit of a tween condition. So let me let me increase the, the segments of a polygon. And let me also increase the radius of the polygon because I'm getting these weird sort of uh, edges. Okay, so you can see I, I just created uh, this tween condition and it all started using the entwine command. What the entwine did was create two tree conditions and I was able to use the tree conditions because I was dividing each of those trees in order to put my weave condition. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a, uh, an offset to give some thickness to that. So the best bet, now let me go to the, my param viewers. I'm going to select, I'm going to go to there. I'm going to go here. So you can see that 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 this is basically uh, is basically a flattened condition. Now I want to offset this. So let me first offset this because I want to offset this and create a loft condition. So I'm attaching the offset curve component. Okay, so I've plugged in the offset. It's kind of a small distance. The default is always at one. So let me just uh, let me, let's make the maximum thirty five. Let me put. Let's see what happens when I put seventeen. So I put uh, the input as seventeen. Now let's look at the perm viewer. See what our data is because we want to loft each of the original tweens with this new offset. So we see that this curve is like this. We see that by default, by offsetting this curve, it created 11 branches. Now, this original tween basically is a flattened condition. So we're going to have to graph this condition because we have to basically divide this into groups. So let me go to graft. I'm going to simplify this because one of the things I don't like dealing with is dealing with all these unnecessary numbers. When I simplify, I just get just the base numbers, and that's much better to work with. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, and then let me look at this param viewer. And again, you see all these unnecessary numbers, so I'm going to right click, 
and click on simplify. So now we have these numbers and these numbers in the same data. So if we're going to loft, we need to have this item loft with this item. So I'm going to go to loft. I'm going to select these and I'm going to select these. And then as you can see, we just got the lofted condition. If I want to change the uh, color, let me go to custom preview, go to swatch, and obviously I can change these colors as we go along. So there you have it. We just covered the entwine command, which as you can see, what it does is it takes these two geometries and it creates basically two branch geometries, basically. You can see that what's happening is it's already setting it up as two branches. And as you can see, as we set it up with two branches, we were able to divide it and then call the even and the odd numbers to create the weave condition. Thank you.